For large heat exchangers with repeating circuitries, using the mouse click approach to define the circuitry can be cumbersome and time consuming. In these instances, it may be appropriate to use an alternative method to generate your circuit. You may find these methods are easier for simple coil geometries as well. In this example, I have six tube banks with six tubes in each bank in a staggered conversion pattern. Rather than using my mouse to make circuits, let's look at the capabilities of the Generate Circuits option from the project menu. The circuit tree generator provides four options. Let's try each one individually. The first option is a counter flow arrangement with six tubes. Note that the program automatically determines how many potential circuits are available with my number of tubes. And I have the option of specifying the inlet at the bottom rather than at the top. The next option is also a counter flow arrangement, but with variable tubes. In tube count, I need to enter the number of tube banks in each circuit. The total number in the entries needs to match the total number of tube banks in my heat exchanger, in this case, six. The third option is parallel flow into the screen. This generates a single pass parallel flow configuration with refrigerant flowing into the screen as if the refrigerant was coming from a common header. The last option is also parallel flow, but out of the screen, with, which is essentially opposite of the previous selection. Another option to easily define your coil geometry is to use the load save circuitry feature. Let's look at that using a different example. In this example, I have a coil with 10 tube banks and one tube per bank in a staggered convergent pattern. I previously saved a circuitry for this arrangement. I've loaded the circuitry that I had previously saved and can now apply it to the coil. I can easily create another circuitry to save the future arrangements of this type by going back to the load save circuitry window. I can use the mouse click method to define the circuitry and then save the file for later use. As we've seen in this video, there are multiple ways to define your circuitry and some built-in tools to help you do it quickly and easily. Please refer to the help file for more information or contact us at support at optimizedthermalsystems.com if you still have additional questions.